This place has some of the purest air in the world. And this wine is from there. Do you know what this is? This is Wine Folly, where we learn by tasting. Wine is a subtle communicator. Only through keen observation can you figure out what it is and where it's from. Let's see what this wine is trying to tell us. First thing to do is to look at the color. And this wine is a pale ruby color, common for thin-skinned grape varieties. Still, very few wines have this light and translucent of a color. This wine is very subtle with aromas of raspberry, sweet rose, dried orange peel, and a touch of allspice. The floral and spice aromas here are a characteristic of the grape variety and not from oak aging. Let's give it a taste. Yes, the taste confirms it's a light-bodied wine with very subtle tannin. It does have ample acidity though. This wine is one of those that I'd call a sniffer. As far as pairing this wine, I wanna be outside on a warm evening made with some pickles, brie, crusty bread. Simple, lovable, and complete. So do you know what this variety is? Is it Merlot, Sangiovese, Grenache, or Pinot Noir? So let's ask Wine Folly's resident master of wine, Christine Marsilio, for more info. Not many grapes can give such a unique mixture of elegance, floralness, and red fruit flavors alongside delicate tannins and a pale color. This wine is clearly communicating that it is a Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir grows all around the world and it is actually the sixth most planted red grape, but it's actually pretty fussy about where it grows. It can only grow properly in cooler climates. The lighter body, fresh fruit flavors, and the delicate floral notes here tell us that this is a cool climate wine for sure and the fruit forward nature suggests a place with high levels of UV, but the alcohol is just around 12 and a half percent, and that points to a place surrounded by cooling influences. Geographically isolated wine regions with a long growing season, read higher latitudes, tend to give us this unique combination. Now that we have some clues about the place, where do you think this wine is from? Ontario, Canada? Tasmania, Australia, Burgundy, France, or Napa Valley in California. Let's head back to Madeline to learn more about the origin. For a sensitive, thin-skinned grape like Pinot Noir, it would ideally be grown close to a large body of water to help moderate the climate. In fact, these are the exact conditions you'll find in Eastern Tasmania. This is Devil's Corner Pinot Noir from Tasmania. Devil's Corner Winery is just steps from the Tasman Sea, which is a really cold sea. Tasmania is one of the fastest up-and-comers in the wine world, given their ideal conditions for grapes like Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and they also make sparkling wine. I hope you enjoy it. And if you liked this segment, definitely leave Christine or myself a comment. This wine is part of Wine Folly Club, and we have more tasting videos like this one coming, so definitely subscribe if you'd like to learn more about wine. Until next time, happy tasting, salute.